Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. If you don't have enough uh, money, enough influence uh, to drive the market in a certain direction, then you have to follow the flow, which is made by the people, the players who could uh, drive the market. So it's very important to understand um, where the market goes, where, how those people think. So this, this, this is my opinion. Okay, you're watching Crypto Hamster channel. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing changed with the price, but what I would like to mention today is that the situation in terms of the expectation of the next um, move of the price of Bitcoin is very, very uh, different from it was before the tether uh, events and this spread it happened. So you see before that, like at this point, when people believe that they can safely uh, store their funds in tether, what they what what could they do like this there, there was a, like a common strategy that if bitcoin drops for example or bitcoin bitcoin start to rise it's very um, reasonable to um, switch to some at least some partial to altcoins because they move much faster on a big bigger uh, deltas uh, comparing to build bitcoin for example it goes down to like six six thousand and you expect this is the bottom of the move and now it should bounce off of this level to the uh, rise so at this level you buy bitcoin and switch partially to altcoins and then altcoins outperform bitcoin in the rise and then you have the better position uh, and what did you do when you had uh, this uh, condition without problems with tether you buy basically buy uh, your bitcoin for your fiat and then whatever it's coinbase or something and then since there is no altcoins available at least most of them are not available such fair trading exchanges uh, you go to some other exchange like binance and you switch to the tether at the same place and you wait for like your quasi fiat fund over there however at, the, at this point of time you can do the same thing but first you'd have to pay premium for bitcoin price and second you would have to unless you are buying it in binance and buy bitfinex right but <clears throat> and second you would have to um cope with the fact that you are worrying that your uh, funds may be uh, lost because of the same event happened before with tether or even worse scenario like if it will be like ghost um, scam or whatever um, okay so that's the thing like it's now le uh, less number of people are ready are able to uh, buy the future deep or at least act faster because again you need to buy bitcoin in your fair trading exchange you need to send your bitcoin to your um, altcoin trading exchanges and it will take time and the network will be busy etc so um it, it is this, this situation is much more um uh, appropriate so to speak to uh get into the uh strong moves uh, of the price in terms of leaving a lot of the players uh, behind the uh, behind the game out, out of the game so the second thing which I was going to mention today is that you see uh, we have um, this huge triangle right this this drop and uh, in order to understand how and when uh, Bitcoin will make a move next time we need to think as the players as the investors traders who have the potential to move the price and those are usually big players so just imagine that you have like your I don't know ten thousand dollars to invest you're a regular person and uh, you, you go to your job daily job etc you have some savings so you want to invest and, and get some profits eventually so uh, with your ten thousand dollars would you be uh, risking to invest Bitcoin in, in this sort of region like from six thousand to twelve thousand you, you would look at the fundamentals at the picture in general and say okay okay probably Bitcoin will go 
higher uh, eventually just it's a matter of time and I would still be in profit I just need to wait otherwise okay I may lose my money but it's just ten thousand dollars and I would need to go to my job now and after that anyways so it's not that a big deal so I will I will be able to risk and now think if you have like um, 500 million dollars for example so you don't need to take care of your financial situation in general like, of course you have like more um, higher level of the requirements of things which you, which you want to use or which you, which you want to have but still in principle you don't need to work you don't need to, to worry about your financial situation in general so only one <clears throat> thing which you should take care of is that to uh, save your money and to rise it so in this situation would you risk like your capital investing in some unknown thing relatively unknown thing bitcoin uh, and uh, worrying about this uh, if this will go like down 60% again probably no the thing which you would do is that if you would invest you invest first like 1% or less than 1% of your capital in such a risky um, uh, risky asset and second if you would do that you would probably do it uh, in a lower level if you are and if you understand what what is happening with, with the market and uh, sec third thing is that you would uh, rely on people who are uh, in this field for a long time or professionals like mutual funds and everything like that so and those are pretty much um, conservative towards Bitcoin so they would not do that uh, such in such a um, like massive manner anytime soon especially in the way that uh, in the lie that we don't have much of the regulation and legal issues so people would think okay I would probably wait a little more or I would uh, buy just a very little of that and in this um, in this way it's understandable that we will not have huge players like institutional investors especially uh, anytime soon unless we will not be able to provide them infrastructure to do that infrastructure as well as um, like uh, the uh, leg legitimacy uh, process and they will be sure that they will not get uh, they th th those investments will not be taken from them because it, it would appear to be uh, illegal so it implies that the next pump if it would happen and i, I hope it would uh, it would be the same as this one it will be based on the retail investors you and i which um probably might must be bigger than this one because a uh, relatively uh, small amount of people uh, invested and here it will be enough in infrastructure uh, like easiness of investing will be much higher and um, much more advanced and also the media boom will be even stronger when it reaches again like it will be pushed artificially probably to, to 20,000 something and media will be booming about the Bitcoin and everything and people will following in but just regular people again and at this time it will be like the majority of people who are able to invest will be in this um, in this game and the next uh, bear market will be ended for everybody uh, who um, like come came here but without knowledge and without um, like recklessly doing that but it will be the second the second bubble I think the third bubble will be um, if we call count this is the first one the third bubble will be from the first risky um, institutional investors who will probably find some basis for investing in crypto and <clears throat> the fourth bu bubble will be again well all of the uh, institutional investors will come into the field and when it will be I don't know but anyway we still have a room to growth and well, we just need to be patient if you are still into staying this for long just just keeping keep doing that and you will be rewarded I believe so nothing to, t to say about altcoins a lot of them are at the bottom and it's very nice to buy them at these levels however I would say that I would either 
wait for the uh, lower low to buy them at this point at those points because they will be uh, at much better discounts or I will just wait until the Bitcoin will make us like a reasonable move for next few months and reach the new local high maybe higher than eight thousand or even nine thousand dollars and then I will pick steal those altcoins which are uh, promising but will not make a move yet but other altcoins altcoin, oh, would so I will just skip to the better performance uh, from performed altcoin but um, pick those which are still promising but uh, it uh, would be at the better um, buying level levels for for the buy so that's it for today guys if you like the content please leave a like and subscribe and i hope i will see you tomorrow in the next update say trading goodbye